In this video, we're going to learn how to write a sigma notation for a Taylor Maclaurin series. And we're going to start with the Maclaurin series for e to the x. Now, remember, that's one that I suggested that you memorize. So e to the x is approximately 1 plus 1x plus 1x squared over 2 factorial plus 1x cubed over 3 factorial, and so on and so forth. So what we need to do are look for patterns. Now, what I notice immediately is that I've got x to the 0, I've got x to the 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So I could go ahead and say x to the n, so long as I'm starting at 0. If I then look further at my denominator, I'll notice that my denominator factorial matches my exponent. So on the bottom, I could go ahead and say n factorial. So that's my general term. So now to write this as a series using sigma notation, we would go sigma starting from 0 to infinity, x to the n over n factorial. Now we can check this by going ahead and plugging in terms. If I plug in a 0, obviously I get 1. If I plug in a 1, I get x. If I plug in a 2, I get x squared over 2 factorial, and so on. Let's do one more. We want to find the Maclaurin series for sine x, and now what we want to do is we want to know some tricks for writing the general term. So, a few things. When you need to write a factorial, that is odd, that would be 2k plus 1 factorial. If you want to do exponents that are odds, 2k plus 1. Factorial evens might be 2k factorial. Exponent evens would be simply 2k. And if the series happens to alternate positive, negative, positive, negative, then we could do negative 1 to the k. Well, so again, I suggested that you memorize uh, several terms for the Maclaurin series for sine x, so we know that it starts with x, and then it's negative x cubed over 3 factorial plus positive x to the 5th over 5 factorial minus x to the 7th over 7 factorial, and so on. So let's take a look at our general term. First of all, the series is alternating, so we're going to want to include in our general term negative 1 to the k. Uh, also, if we look at our exponents, our exponents are odd, so when I put in my x, I'm going to want to have a 2k plus 1. Lastly, I notice again that my exponents match my factorials on the bottom, so I'm going to want to have a 2k plus 1 factorial on the bottom. So using sigma notation, sigma starting at 0, going to infinity, negative 1 to the k, x to the 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1 factorial. And once again, if we start plugging in terms, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, we would get our polynomial. 